fucking bullet rips off the body ahead. Your brains are laying on the ground. Oh my god. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Mary and today we are going to be watching a film that I've actually never heard of before it's called My Cousin Vinny. I know one thing about this film and that it is set in court that is as much as I know about this film because I haven't read the synopsis I haven't gone on IMDb it was just recommended to me by a friend and I'm in the mood for a good court film I've been watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trials and I have been watching court sessions pretty much almost every single day after this I'm going to be watching a movie called Liar Liar as well, which I've also never seen, and it's gonna be my first time reacting. Make a wish. I wish my dad was here. On, I wish he wasn't such an asshole. It can be anything in the whole world. I wish he wasn't a lawyer. I wish he wasn't so busy. So excited for that too. I've got my pink lawyer outfit on. I know that they wear pink in Legally Blonde. However, I haven't seen that movie. Let me know if that one is worth watching as well. Today, we are jumping into a movie blind. So I really hope that my cousin Vinny is good and that I really enjoy it. I've heard nothing but great things about this film. So I'm looking forward to laughing. Before we jump into the film though, I want to remind you guys, the uncut version of this reaction is over on Patreon. Link is in the description bar and also in the pinned comments down below. You can subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. And if you do enjoy this video, you can always like because it really does help my channel out and with all of that said we are ready to jump into this film so let's get watching oh that's stealing look i forgot to pay for this <laughs> what if somebody saw i feel like the guy on the left is like the older sibling because my older sibling is like that as well oh my hands. god whoa Show me your hands. it's a bit over the top for some tuna get him up now put your hands on top of your head Get out of the car. Um, all right, this is this is too much. What? What? Holy shit. Is that the guy that just served them? I think we may get a confession. Oh, jeez, Louise. So maybe they think that these boys killed um the guy that worked at the gas station? Hello, Bill. Do you know why you're here? Yeah, I do. I'm Sorry, it was a stupid thing to do. <laughs> Have you been made aware of your right? <laughs> yes. They're thinking You're about two different about things. Yes. When did you shoot him? <laughs> what? <laughs> At what point did you shoot the clerk? I shot the clerk. Yes, when did you shoot him? I shot the clerk. Need he needs to stop saying that. Confession here. He, he's, it's like that meme where all the maths Whoa. equations are like Wait. happening in his head. He's like, Wait. They think I shot the clerk. Uh, not, not too good, Ma. We, uh, we, we've been arrested. <laughs> would Ma, you, would Ma, you believe? Ma, we think they're trying to set us up as patsies, Ma. You know how corrupt it is down here. They all know each other. <laughs> That's right. The clans here, they're in bread. They sleep with their sisters. Dude, they might want to like, Ma, listen, they might want to chill. Attorney. That's a great idea. You think he'll do it? What? We got an attorney in the family. Great. Who? <laughs> My cousin Vinny. My cousin Vinny! He said the title of the movie! <laughs> oh shit, cousin Vinny's pulling up, I think. Oh shit, he's so old. I was expecting like a younger guy for some reason. Well, at least they're in a cell together. And sometimes there's a big guy named Bubba no one wants to tangle with. <laughs> Bubba. Then you have to become a sex slave and do whatever he wants. There's only the two of us here. <laughs> what about those cops? So who's gonna be Bubba in this dynamic? You know, maybe I just start with you. I'll let him sleep a little bit. Look, I don't want to do this. Hey, I don't blame you. Oh my I'm god! I think Stan thinks this this guy is Bubba. Look, it's either me or them. You're getting fucked one way or the other. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> I'm gonna help you. Gee, thanks. Excuse me, but I think a modicum of gratitude would not be out of line here. You think I should be grateful? <laughs> I mean, it's your ass, not mine. Oh my god. He I just keeps saying things that. I think you should be. That's it. You're on your own. I'm just taking care of sleep of beauty. Hey, Billy, hey, back off. Finn. Also, first. sorry for thinking you were about to f me. <laughs> what kind of cases have you had? Assault and battery? Armed robbery, you know. No. What? 
What kind of lawyer well, is I he? He's done burglary, grand theft auto, drugs, right, Vin? Nope, nothing like that. Wow, what have you done then, bro? What kind, what kind, actually, this would be my first foray into the trial process. I haven't had to go to court yet. Jesus Christ. Oh, what? You haven't had to go to court yet. How long have you been practicing? Almost six weeks. Holy shit, this is bad. Studying for the bar, <laughs> six years. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of studying. <laughs> for me, six times was a charm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I mean, they don't really have any other options unless they want to pay 50000 to to $100,000. A little informal, aren't we? <laughs> well, we're just uh, resting. Not wearing a coat or tie. Oh. Oh. My gosh, he looks so little. Approved, Nudge. How long have you been practicing? Almost 16 years. Wow. What a liar. <laughs> you ever heard of the son of Sam? Fellow who received orders to kill from a dog. You defended him. <laughs> well, no, not exactly. I uh, I defended the first guy they arrested. Wow, he's uh, looking pretty good in front of this guy with his lies. Well, have it when you come into my courtroom, you would know the letter of the law. I'll react harshly when you don't. You Damn. Won't. Understood. A charge with first degree murder. How they plead. Ayana, my client. Don't talk to me sitting in that chair. <laughs> Stand up. My clients are. What are you wearing? I'm, oh uh, no. Wearing uh, clothes. This is not I, starting I off very well. You not only insult me, but you insult the integrity of this court. Shit. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Next time you come into my courtroom, you will look loyally. And I mean, you suit and tie. And wear a suit and tie. Yep. And that suit better be made out of some kind of cloth. Please. Don't wear leather, boy. Uh, what are you telling me? That they plead not guilty? No, I, I'm just trying to explain. I don't want to hear explanations. Oh my God, man! Has he Hasn't he watched like a court case at least uh, from movies? There are only two ways to handle it: <laughs> guilty or not guilty. How the fuck did he pass bar? Do anything. Once again, the communication process is broken down. Guilty or not guilty? Just say not guilty. How do your clients? <laughs> I think I get the point. Oh no, my god! I don't think you do. You're now in contempt of court. You should have just. Oh my contempt. god! Bailey, please take Mr. Gambini into custody. His bail will be set at two hundred dollars. He's the lawyer, and he's gonna spend some time in jail. How? Okay, I don't understand this. He's studied for the bar exam six times and he doesn't know that all he had to say is guilty or not guilty. I'm not a lawyer and I know that. Well, it's a lot of procedure, that's all. I mean, I'll learn it as I go. Learn as you go. Yeah, yeah. You can't do, do that, dude. Well, he didn't do any internships. Or you could go to court and watch. Yeah, why didn't you watch? So why don't you go to court and watch? Because between your father's garage and working nights, when was I supposed to go? Ah. Uh. I, I routinely twist maximum allowable torqueage. Well, how could you be sure you <laughs> use 16 foot pounds of torque? Because this is good lawyer talk. Getting to the facts. It had been calibrated by top members of the she should be a lawyer. federal department of weights and measures to be dead on balls accurate. I can see why they like each other. <laughs> I guess the fucking thing is broken. Yep, I can see exactly why they like each other. <laughs> Sexy music. We knew it was going to happen. <laughs> then you saw those two boys run out of the sack of suds, jump in this car and take off. Yeah. Oh my God. The they have such good witnesses. I asked him if he did it. And he said, I shot the clerk. <laughs> I asked him again. And again, he said, I shot the clerk. But it was more of a question. He was like, I shot the clerk? Mr. Gambini, now didn't I tell you the next time you appear in my courtroom that you dress appropriately? You were serious about that? <laughs> yes. 
Oh my God, he's going back to jail. Jesus. I think that once you're out there and you're doing your thing out there, I think you're gonna be really great. Aw, that's the encouragement he needs. Really that's sweet. If you don't fuck up. He is 100% punching above his weight though. Like, holy hell. <laughs> Look, I think we should meet with the public defender. See what he's like. Yeah, I think so too, honestly. Well, he, he wants to go with the public defender. Uh, surely Vinny can understand though. It's their lives on the line. All right, I'm, I'm going with the public defender too. Are you scared? Uh, yeah, he could yeah, die, sure. bro. Look, but what's most important is winning the case. I could do it. Are you what willing to out, bet man? their lives on it? The DA is more to cross-examination than knowing what to say. It's knowing what not to say. Yeah. Let's say he asks all the possible questions, right? And the witness has all the answers. He ends up proving the prosecution's case. Yeah, we all know that bad lawyers... I mean, if you've been watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case, we all know what a bad lawyer can do they can they can help the other person's case for sure you go in hunting why i agree i was thinking last night if only i knew what he knows you know if he let me look at his files <gasps> he won't do that you know two guys out in the woods guns on the hunt it's a bonding thing you know show him i'm one of the boys yeah, but he's also a professional. Maybe he'll relax. I don't know. He got uh, he's got a lot of stuffed heads in his office. Heads? What kind of heads? Yeah, I don't oh, like that. He's got a boar, a beer, a couple of deer. No, oh, I don't like that. You're gonna shoot a deer? I don't know. I suppose. I Fuck mean, I'm that. A man. I could go what about these pants I got on? You think they're okay? Imagine you're a deer. <laughs> you get thirsty, you spot a little brook, you put your little deer lips down to the mm. cool, clear water. Oh. Bam! A fucking bullet rips off oh. part of your head. Your oh. brains are laying on the ground. Oh, oh my god. In pieces. Oh. Now I ask you, would you give a fuck what kind of pants a son of a bitch who shot you was wearing? Oh my god. <laughs> I love her storytelling. <laughs> very, very good. Sure, like to get a look at your files. <laughs> you would. Sure. You got Xerox machine over there? Uh, no. That's okay. I'll have my secretary do it. Oh. Shirley, can you Xerox all the files on the Gambini Rothenstein case? What? Mr. Gambini? What is this? His dream? This is weird. I'm just ready to finesse him. I'm starting to finesse him. Right? I got him going. <laughs> he offers to have his secretary copy everything for me. I think maybe that's, that's just. Very impressive. He's letting us use his hunting cabin as soon as he gets back. It's in the woods. It's quiet. He sleeps oh, like wow. a baby when he's there. Wow, so that's, that's great. Are you uh, reading this book? Yeah. Do me a favor, okay? Don't read this book. <laughs> okay? Thank you very much. All right. Jeez, what's his problem? Don't you wonder why he tried to give you his files? I told you why. Because he has to, I think? He has to. By law, you're entitled. <laughs> it's called disclosure, you dickhead. <laughs> to show you everything. Otherwise, it could be a mistrial. He has to give you a list of all his witnesses. You can talk to all his witnesses. He's well, not allowed any surprise. And she just read a little bit, and she knew that. I think she should continue reading that book. How many different levels of thickness have you gone through? What'd you have for breakfast? What the fuck oh, kind of questioning is brown? this? Stuff. Oh my god. I had to change my name, which I did legally. So now I practice law under my legally changed stage name. What name is that? Cherry Gamble. <gasps> oh my gosh. Cherry Gamble. You can still call me Gambini. <laughs> You'll just find out information on Jer Jerry Ga Gallo. Jerry Gallo. Jerry Gallo? The big attorney? Yeah. <laughs> What if he Googles a picture of him? Did Google exist in 91, actually? I don't know. Why is that? Because he's dead. Wow. He's dead? Fuck. Oh my gosh, her outfit's so nice. She just looks so good all the time. 
I am in the dark here with all this legal crap. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is you're screwing up, and I can't help. Aww. She's so caring. Well, I hate to bring it up because I know you got enough pressure on you already. But we agreed to get married as soon as you won your first case. Me, uh -huh. ten years later, my niece, uh -huh. the daughter of my sister, is getting married. My biological clock is ticking like oh. this. Oh. I got a judge that's just aching to throw me in jail. I ain't slept in five days. I got no money. A dress code problem. <laughs> a dress a code problem. Which in the balance holds the lives of two innocent kids. Not to mention your biological clock, <laughs> my career, your life, our marriage. And let me see, what else can we pile on? Is there any more shit we could pile yes. on? Yes, the stop? anger of your aunt uh, if uh, you get your cousin killed. <laughs> Maybe it was a bad time to bring it up. <laughs> a lot more than just the lives of those two innocent kids uh, rides on this on this case, including his future with his incredibly hot fiance. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ! <laughs> Are you joking? Are you actually kidding me? Not another noise. <laughs> Oh no, don't shoot now. Oh my god. Fucking hell, Americans. Come on. Yeah, squishy. Oh, yuck! No way. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that is feral. No. No, th oh god. No, thank you. His day just keeps getting worse and worse. They definitely got stuck in the mud. Oh no, his, his suit. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> oh God. What the hell is he wearing? He looks like a magician from the 70s. Mr. Gambini. Are you mocking me with that outfit? Oh, no, <laughs> he's actually not. Mocking you? No, I bought a suit. You've seen it. Now it's covered in mud. This town doesn't have a one-hour cleanest, so I had to buy a new suit. Except mm. that the only store you could buy a new suit in has got the flu. You get that? The whole store got the flu. <laughs> so I had to get this in a second-hand store. At so least he tried. Either. His heart was in the right place. <laughs> you on drugs? Oh my gosh. Drugs? No. I don't take drugs. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> what you else is. <gasps> There's a fucking surprise. <laughs> What'd you say? What? There's a fucking What'd surprise. Say? What'd I say? What? Just move along. Next. Counselor, you wish to make an open statement? Oh my god. Counselor. He's sleeping. Oh, for God's sakes. Alright, fine. It's time to make the statement. Oh, that's so bad. Also, I think he's got tape on his um upper cheek. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Oh <gasps> thank you. Objection, Your Honor. Counsel's entire opening statement is argument. Objection sustained. Oh, oh my God, that was the entire Gambini. opening statement. Your statement, sir. Um, the free attorney. I hope he's better. He looks like he's kind of sweating. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, he's got stage fright. <gasps> Um, oh, this just keeps um, getting worse and worse. No. Oh, this is cringe. Oh, my God, his reaction. Oh. I feel so uncomfortable. He should not have been a lawyer, at least not a lawyer that goes to court. I see you wear eyeglasses. No. Sometimes. Well, would you care to show those eyeglasses? Okay, to well, that's good, actually. No. Well, as you see, 
You were 50 feet away. You made a positive eyewitness identification. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and you were not wearing your necessary prescription eyeglasses. They're reading glasses. Oh, God. That's... Okay, I thought he was getting somewhere good and then it turned out they were reading glasses. Uh, so would you say you got a better shot of them going in and not so much coming out? You could say that. I did say that. Would you say that? <laughs> yeah. Is nice. The two Utes. Uh, uh, two what? Utes. <laughs> what was that word? What is a Ute? Oh, excuse it's me. It's his accent. Two Utes. Youths. Is it possible the two defendants entered the store? Mm -hmm. Defendants. Twenty-two specific. Two different men drive up in a similar-looking car, go in, shoot the clerk, rob him, and then leave. No. Where's the oh, CCTV sorry. footage? You testified earlier that the boys went into the store, and you had just begun to make breakfast. You were just ready to eat, and you heard a gunshot. That's, That's right, right. I'm sorry. So obviously, it takes you five minutes to make breakfast. That's right. All right, so you knew that. Okay. Uh, do you remember okay. What you had? Eggs and grits. Yeah. Eggs and grits. I like grits too. Yeah. How do you cook your grits? instant grits? No self-respect in Southerner uses instant grits. <laughs> I take pride in my grits. I've so never even heard of grits in my life. How could it until take this movie? You five minutes to cook your grits when it takes the entire grit eating world twenty minutes. Ah. I don't know. I'm a fast cook, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was well, perhaps the laws of physics cease to exist <laughs> on your stove. <laughs> Were these magic grits? <laughs> He's... Did you buy them from the same guy who sold Jack his beans? <laughs> oh, no, no, objection, Your Honor. Objection sustained. Oh, my sure God. Ignore the question. Know. Are you sure about that five minutes? Yeah, I don't know. I think you made your point. <laughs> Are you sure about that five minutes? <laughs> Damn. He's he's doing well. I may have been mistaken. There you go. I got no more use for this guy. Oh, no more use for this guy. The way you said that. Great job. You're fired. Way better. I want him. <sighs> Vinny did way better than the public defender. Don't worry. What is this rusty, dusty, dirty looking thing over your window? He needs to show the jury this. What are these really big things right in the middle of your view from the window of your kitchen to the sack of suds? Trees. Looking through this dirty window, this crud covered screen. Wow. He's doing trees, great. I'm very impressed. With all these leaves on them, and I don't know how many bushes. Hey, look. Lisa's camera came in very good use. Is it possible you just saw two guys in a green convertible and not necessarily these two particular guys? He's like, oh, I suppose. <laughs> I'm finished with this guy. I'm finished with this guy. It's, isn't it? No further questions. I have no use for this guy. Whoa. Whoa, damn. Have they always been that dick? Oh no, they they got thicker over the years. <laughs> so, no, uh, no, I, I I think they're okay. <laughs> Maybe we should make sure. Let's check it out. A <laughs> hundred feet. A hundred feet. Would you hold this, please? Thank you. Hundred feet. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So that far. Wow. Okay. How many fingers am I holding up? Let the record show that counsel is holding up two fingers. What? Yana, please, huh? God, come on, dude. Sorry. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up now? She's having trouble. Oh. Oh. Thinking of getting thicker glasses. Uh-huh. Yep. That'll be all. Oh, she. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm a special automotive instructor of forensic studies for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI. Oh, how long have you been in that? We've been given no prior notice he'd testify. No discovery of any tests he's conducted or mm -hmm. reports he's prepared. And as the court is aware, nice. the defense is entitled to advance notice of any witness who will testify. 
mm -hmm. as well as to mm -hmm. give the defense mm -hmm. an opportunity to have the witnesses' reports reviewed by a defense expert who wow. might then be in a position to contradict the veracity of his conclusion. He's lawyered the fuck up. That is a lucid, intelligent, well thought out objection. Hell yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Overruled. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he tried. Now, I took a sample uh. of that rubber and analyzed it. I also took a sample of the rubber from the rear tires of the defendant's Buick but, and analyzed that too. But it rained. It, would it still be in the asphalt? The chemical composition between the two samples was found to be identical. Oh, identical. damn. Impact. Court will take a 60-minute recess for lunch. Okay, he's got 60 minutes. I respectfully request a full day's continuance to go over all this stuff. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'd like to speak to you in my chambers. Oh, my. You're a dead man. I'm a dead man? That's right. I just faxed the clerk. Oh, the he found out. Well, I'm not Jerry Gallo. I'm Jerry Callo. C-A-L-L-O. Oh, perfect. Another setback. But this has got to be the last setback, though. I hope he has good backup for this Jerry Callow. Call back after three. That gives you a stay of execution. Unless by some miracle you happen to win this case in the next 90 minutes. <sighs> when you go to lunch. He is not eating lunch. Or maybe he is. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to... I'm trying to think about the case now, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, I would just kind of... Can I help? Can I help? No, you can't help. I wish you could, but you can't. She's actually been very helpful. Uh, this is our first hotel room, right? I don't intimidate Trotter. He's one of me from behind. Sarcasm. And I didn't think I could feel worse than I did a couple of seconds ago. Thank you. <laughs> ah, here's a good one of the tire marks. Tire marks! Any farther away? You got it, honey! You did it! The case cracker! <laughs> me in the shower! Uh -huh. I love this! I don't That's like it. this. He's stressed and he's taking it out on her. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. The tire photo. Look back at the tire photo. Mr. Gambini. Oh, Your he's, first witness. he's realizing. <gasps> Please, uh, can I have a five minute recess? The, the, my next witness is not in the courtroom right now. Three minutes. <laughs> No more. Uh, that's not enough time. Sheriff, sure. do me a favor. Please trace this. It's not my job. You do your own investigation. <laughs> Please, I only have three minutes. Come on. Help out. Help out. Sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I need you to come back into the courtroom, and I need the phone. Honey, come on oh, now. Stop it. He I said sorry. Make... Let's make... Come on, we don't have a lot of time. Please. Shut up. Give me this. Fuck you! Whoa. What is it with you with that mouth? Shut up! You know who you're Mr. Gambini? Uh <laughs> it's having a domestic outside. I need your help. I don't I need give a shit. Leave me alone. You'll see. Come on, Lisa. Two boys' lives are at stake. That's his next witness. Gone the defense calls as its first witness, Ms. Mona Lisa Vito. Mona Lisa. Honor, this person not on the witness list. This witness is an expert in the field of automobiles. Uh -huh. and is being called to rebut the testimony of George Wilbur. Aha! Your Honor, would you please instruct the bailiff Officer. to escort Ms. Vito to the witness stand, please? She has to. She's been called upon. She can finally help, for real. Hold up your right hand. Uh, you're supposed to be some kind of expert in automobiles, is that correct? <laughs> She's giving him the silent treatment. Correct? You please answer the counselor's question. No, I hate him. <laughs> Do you two know each other? Yeah, she's my fiance. Well, <laughs> certainly explain the hostility. My <laughs> father was a mechanic. My mother's father was a mechanic. My three brothers are mechanics. Four uncles on my father's <laughs> side. And Shit. You know, have you ever worked as a mechanic? Please yeah, say yes. My father's garage, yeah. Oh, good. Great. Tune ups, oil changes, brake relining, oh. engine rebuilds. We built some trannies. Okay. So she but is qualified. What would the correct ignition timing be on a 1955 Bel Air Chevrolet? <laughs> Chevy didn't make a 327 in 55. The 327 didn't come out till 62. Ah. In, in 1964, the correct ignition timing would be four degrees before top dead center. Well. Very, very good. 
She's acceptable, Your Honor. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, sit down. And what is this picture of? You know what it's of. Just this say it. It's a, it's a formality. It the defense is wrong. What? Are you sure? I'm positive. Oh, How this. Be so sure. This. These marks were made by a 1963 Pontiac Tempest. I find it hard to believe that this kind of information could be ascertained simply by looking at a picture. <laughs> They've done this it. before. This is like their little thing. <laughs> made these two equal length tire marks had pause attraction can't make those marks without pause attraction which was not available on the 64 view oh my gosh wow i'm so it? impressed now, there's more. as the 64 skylock and that was the 1963 pontiac tempest where you know very, very half much. the time You've been a i did lovely. not know what she was talking about but i was just impressed nonetheless because like she she knows her stuff. That was hella impressive. And look at that face. She helped. She's very happy with herself as well. That this is just this is just like too much for this is too much for them. Mr. Trump, how'd you like uh, Ms. Vito's testimony? <laughs> very impressive. She's cute too, huh? Yes, very. <laughs> He's under oath. In your expert opinion, would you say? That everything oh, and he's back with what he asked for of him. Accurate. The Buick that the defendants were driving made those tire tracks. Come on, you could say it's okay, they know. <laughs> they already know what you're going to say. Actually, no. No. Mm. Thank you. No more. He's back. Your Honor, I call Sheriff Farley. I'm so excited. I wonder what he has there. Sheriff. What'd you find out? <laughs> confirms that two boys... Who fit the defendant's description were arrested two days ago oh. by Sheriff Till for driving a stolen metallic mint green oh, wow. 1963 Pontiac Tempest with a white convertible top. Michelin oh my model, gosh, I want to see these boys. Uh, I want to see them. Is that it? No. More? A 357 Magnum revolver was found in their <gasps> Just wow. Wow. the court's memory, what caliber bullet was used to murder Jimmy Willis? 357 Magnum. Mm. This is incredible. And finding out the Mr. real culprits uh, as well, that's the biggest thing. In light of Ms. Vito's and Mr. Wilbur's testimony, the state like dismiss all charges. Yes. <gasps> yeah! Oh, they can get married now! Hell yeah! And his cousin doesn't have to die. His cousin and his cousin's friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> you were great, and um, I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. That's I hope sweet. we can do it again sometime. I hope we can do it again sometime. I'll see. I'll see. Okay, he has to get out of here, dude. Go on, go on, listen. Take your time, pick the right words, get back to New York, give me a pass. <laughs> I think the judge wants you to talk to him job. still, Thanks. though. Now listen, I want you to know you got an open invitation anytime you want to come down here. Hell, we get us a deal next time. Okay. Thanks a lot. I feel like if I, if I don't get out of here now, I might never be able to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Facts here from the clerk. Oh, no. I owe you an apology, sir. Oh. I'm honored. You're one hell of a trial lawyer. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, you're one hell of a judge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, Kalo? Kalo? Is he an actual lawyer and that was just luck? Or is he just saying that what that was in the court? That was impressive. Oh. <gasps> confirming the very impressive legal stature of Jerry Kalo. Oh. Uh, she helped in so many ways. But with somebody else's help, right? You win case after case, and then afterwards, you have to go up to somebody and you have to say thank you. Mm. Oh my God, what a fucking nightmare. <laughs> say thank you. She did a lot. I won my first case. You know what this means. They can get married. Well, you're not going to marry me now? 
No way. What? You can't win a case by yourself, you fucking useless. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought we'd get married this weekend. No way. You don't get it, do you? That is not romantic. I want a wedding in church with bridesmaids and flowers. <laughs> How many times? Who wants to marry you anyway? <laughs> what a what a fun movie. This was a super enjoyable film, you guys. I'm actually kind of sad that I haven't watched this movie before or even heard of it until very recently. And can we talk about Marissa Tomei when she was young? Because this is the first film that I've seen of Marissa Tomei when she was young. Obviously, she plays Aunt May in the MCU Spider-Man series, and I know of her through that, but her as a young actress holy shit she has range that accent that she was doing i don't know if that's actually her authentic accent because i know she has an italian background but if not that was really impressive the way she was just so unrecognizable to me in the film but then when i looked up the cast i was like oh my god no wonder like she is so familiar okay i'm gonna stop talking about marissa tobey because i want to talk about the film it was super enjoyable super funny and i really love the character development of Vinny. he started out as an extremely extremely shitty lawyer not even knowing what to do in court it was almost to a point where it was a bit of a joke because me as a content creator who knows nothing about law even i knew formalities that he didn't know of like uh let's see the way you dress um the fact that you can't sit on the table and be so informal in court um the way you speak to the judge the way you speak to other people him not knowing to say guilty or not guilty but again all of these moments were hyperbolized to emphasize the fact that he's a really crappy lawyer and for the payoff in the end when he does such a great job for his cousin and his cousin's friend to be worthwhile so i do understand that aspect as well and it had a really sweet ending with Lisa and Vinny being able to get married as well and them having their happy ending but then also the boys being let free and more importantly it means that the real killers won't get away which obviously that would be bad if they just got away scot-free and two innocent boys uh, went into death row so I knew that was going to be the outcome that the boys lives are saved and everything's all good in the end but it was definitely interesting to see the process of how Vinny learned how to become a good lawyer through actual practice and, and practically spending time in court and learning as he goes. Some people are like that. Some people really do learn as they go. And Vinny was definitely one of those people. It's a film that I definitely rewatch. It's really fun and it's really cute and it's heartwarming and it has a great message to never give up on your dreams and to persist even though everybody kind of thinks you're quite shit <laughs> because it'll be worth it in the end and you'll prove everybody wrong. So good on Vinny, good on Lisa as well. She did an amazing job in court and also behind a great man is always a great woman and Lisa was definitely that great woman for Vinny. So yeah guys, let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out and it helps me know what kind of content you want to keep seeing from me. Once again, you can find the uncut version over on Patreon. Link is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. You can subscribe as well if you liked what you saw and you want to keep seeing from me. And thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.